Okay, I'm going to redo part three here. Basically, I'm just going to show very quick what I did to change the behavior of a balloon bounce because the beginning of that uh, it went on too long and it didn't really do anything I needed to do. Okay, so let's, I, right now I notice in my home directory there's a .java file and the way you can see that, if you, you have to go to view and show hidden files and of course this is in Ubuntu. Let me go up here to the um, Firefox and go to free online games and over here to Ubuntu. Let's see what the state of my game is right now. I think that the state is going to be that uh, when I go into it, I'm not going to have any sound. But then once I delete or rename or do anything with that .java folder that's in my home directory, magically all the sound will work, uh, the introduction sound will work, and the um, game will work. So let's see what happens. So I only have limited sound here, okay? So let's just get out of this. Let's not waste any time, and let's just delete this. Now let's try it. And this is with uh, both Sun Java and the Open JDK, but not the Ice-T plugin install. Let's go back here. This I just did as, a, as an experimental test to see, you know, what would happen, really see if it had any impact on the behavior of the game because I noticed that initially the game would work with full sound and then next play it didn't. So what changed? Well, uh, what changed was the fact that my Java cache had filled up in my home directory. So this one I should be able to hear the, the introduction sound and the game will, will have a song little tune that plays along with it. <laughs> so the reason why there's so much confusion, and the answer is for Linux users that are going to play Pogo games, so they have trouble with their games after playing it the first time, well, just delete that .java folder, and that thing gets full. That thing can get up to two, two, three, four, five gigabytes big sometimes, and so uh, just delete that thing, and you'll be okay. And, and uh, I do a little more in my future videos. I do a little more playing around as the janitor graces me with the vacuum sound. Um, a little more playing around just to figure out, you know what things actually affect what. A little more, a little sharper, but I don't get much further. But basically, um, I think the answer is, is uh, for Linux users, get rid of the Java Ice-T plugin and the, uh, it's not the modules, it's not anything else, it's, it's, the, it's the fact that you have uh, anything in your .java folder, at least for this balloon bounce game, you gotta clear that thing out. Okay, I'm gonna stop.